Hi everyone, this is Seto. In this video, I'm going to talk about Kemal. Kemal is a fast, effective and simple web framework for Crystal. In this video, we are going to create a RESTful JSON API with Kemal. Now, let's create our API. Let's open up a terminal. Let's create a new Crystal application using Crystal init app. And I'm going to name it API. Let's cd into that API folder. Now, let's add Kemal to our application. To do that, let's open up our editor. And in this folder, let's go into shard YML. This file it has all the meta information about our project, the name, the version, the author of the application, the targets, the crystal version that we are using, and the license. Now, we are going to add another field called dependencies. And inside that, we're going to add command using the GitHub. Let's save that file and let's install the dependencies using shards install. Now that we have installed Kemal, let's go back into our application and let's edit. In the source folder, I'm going to go into API CR and in this file, I'm going to add Kemal by requiring it. And then I'm going to run Kemal using Kemal.run and save the file. Now let's run our code. To do that we use the command crystal and give it the source file which is source API CR. And now let's go into localhost 3000 to see and you see that Kemal actually doesn't know this way because we haven't defined any endpoints for our API. Now let's define our API endpoints. Now let's create a route that lists all the persons we have. To do that, we create a root called persons and we use the get keyword, which means we are listing something. And let's return the persons we have. To do that, I'm create a person object with the first name, Sadar, and the last name, Doriel. And I'm gonna return that as a JSON object. To do that, we call to JSON method on the object. Now, Let's rerun our code. Now let's open up Postman and call this API endpoint. To do that, we use the localhost 3000 and persons endpoint. As you can see, we got the person listed with the first name and the last name. Now let's add another endpoint to add a person. To create a person, we use the post keyword with the given route. Let's do that. We will use the persons slash id wrote to create the person and here we will use context object in crystal the context object is where the http request and response information is held and we will use that to get information about our parameters and here we will get the person id from the url parameter to do that we will use the context params dot url method and we will receive the id and then we will need the first name and we will get that from the request body then we will need the last name then if there is no first name we will just send error to the client let's create an error object with a message for that and let's call it to JSON to turn it into a JSON. To send an error and halt the response, we will use the halt method with a status code of 403 and the response with the error. And if there is no error and the first name is given, we will send back a person object. And let's send the first name, last name and ID with that person object. And we will just string concatenate that. Now let's go back to our terminal and restart our API. Now let's go back to Postman and let's call the API with a post method and let's give it the ID 99 and let's call it. As you see, we received the message first name must be given, which means we errored out. Now let's send first name, last name. As you see, we got back a person object with the name Kemal Crystal and ID 99. Congratulations, you have just built your first RESTful JSON API with Kemal.
To get more info about Kemal and how you can build things, you can check out the website kemalcr.com. You can check out the guides which have detailed info about how to get started from installing to running the app and all the other stuff. And to get more practical stuff, you can take a look into cookbook to handle stuff like file downloads, uploads and many more. Thanks a lot for watching.